folks, welcome back to another episode of Straight Outdoors. I have to tell you guys something that happened to me on New Year's in a minute. But first, I want to get a good little fire ripping right in there. So. Well, folks, we're going to let that breathe and get ripping here. I'll get started with the story. Okay, folks, welcome back to another episode. We are back. I'm in my garage. It's freezing cold. It's ice fishing season. I, it was New Year's, okay, so I'll start the story. It was New Year's Eve. I woke up about 8 o'clock. Got up. Um, my dad had left to go to a job over in a neighboring city. Uh, Kingsford Iron Mountain area. Um, he had to go do a job over there. Um, cause he is, he is a contractor, but anyways. So, he, he's on his way back, picks up my buddy Wyatt, because he, my buddy Wyatt lives in Bark River. Picks him up on the way back, through, all good and dandy. Um, he comes back here about, uh, noon, noonish. Um, we, right when he gets back, we get in the truck. We go pick up my friend Jacob. Get yeah, Jacob's about 12 15, 12 30 maybe. Um, we come back to the house. Time we get back to the house, it's probably 1, 1 o'clock, maybe 1 o'clock, maybe even 12 45, something like that. We get, we just, we hop on the stone bill, we start riding around on the stone bill, pulling each other with the sled. You know, we're having, we're having a great time. We've been, we did it for about. Ah, uh, four hours. We got we got done at about five o'clock. It gets dark at about five thirty. It was still a little bit light out. Got done about five o'clock. Came in here. Um, I'll show you guys this this heater over here. This wall heater. This was running. It was uh, it was nice and running, real good. Heating up the place. Played ping pong. Here's the ping pong table. Played some foosball. You know we were having a great time. And then. We started doing these challenges where if you lost in foosball or if you lost in ping pong, you had to drink you had to drink a cup a foam cup, half a foam cup of white pure white vinegar. We were just having a great time, you know. Just going around, playing foosball, eating chips, you know, having a good time waiting in. My dad comes into the garage. And he says, Carter, the, the propane's running low on the wall heater. You should get the fire ripping because it was ripping earlier. And I'll set you guys back down. Fire was ripping earlier. He's like, oh, you should get the fire ripping again. I'm like, oh, okay. You know, I, uh, I'm like, I was doing lures, sitting right in this chair, making lures. I was like, hey, Jacob. Like, hey, Jacob, you think you could go get the fire going? Oh, yeah, sure. I'll go try. And then Wyatt goes and helps him. And I'm like... Oh, uh, never mind, guys. I'll just go do it. Not a big deal. He, my dad told me to anyway. I didn't want my friends to do any work. Like, I didn't want my friends to feel like they had to do work. That's all. That's really my only thing that I didn't want to happen. So I was making lures. I just set all my stuff down, went over to the fire. So I got up. It's like this, just like you're me on New Year's Eve. Got up, walked over to the fire, opened the door. This thing's out, but anyways. Hold on. The fire was completely out. 
just like it is right well there was still a couple coals but it was still pretty much out it was pretty much out for the most part anyway so what I did was was just let that, just let that go for a second I I see this right here this jug that's lacquer thinner if you don't know what lacquer thinner is it's the thin lacquer to make it easy. Flammable liquid, super flammable liquid. Here's my dumb self. I take lacquer thinner, take lacquer thinner, take this, I take this little cap, I pour it about up to the top of this thing in the middle, full of lacquer thinner. I come over to the fire, I pour it in here, just completely cover it, throw that over there. I took the torch, I lit it, it flared up immediately as I touched it, lit it, jacked my arm back, scraped my fingers right off the top of here. Now, I didn't feel anything because I didn't feel anything because my body was completely full of adrenaline. Like I just had a huge adrenaline rush and I didn't feel anything except my skin just felt tight. That's all that I felt. Anyways, so I'm like, oh man, oh my skin's tight. I got lucky I didn't get fried. Looked at my hand, there's skin hanging down everywhere. Just skin hanging down everywhere of my hands. I was like, oh gosh. I was scared, Wyatt was scared. We were all scared because we didn't know what to do. So I go over to the snowbank, get a chunk of ice, and I just set it on there because I knew it was gonna hurt. Come, in, come back in the garage, pull it off my hand, and man, it, as soon as I pulled it off, it felt like I took that blue torch and just started toasting my hand with the torch. It's exactly what it felt like. It hurt so bad. I literally thought that we we're gonna have to cut my, I thought we were gonna have to cut my fingers off. I was so scared. Anyway, so here I am, right? My hands fried. I didn't tell my dad because if I was, if I was gonna tell my dad that I really did not want to get in trouble. That's like the only reason. It was just, it just like, how dumb do you have to be to do that? You know what I'm saying? Literally, I've grown up around fires my whole entire life. My dad has told me about how flammable gasoline, lacquer thinner thing or, or acetone or whatever. It just, I don't know what I was thinking. Like, I just want to get the fire going quick. I didn't want to have to worry about the inconvenience of taking the time to start the fire. I just, I, I don't know. I, I just, I can't think of how dumb that was, like. I don't know what I was thinking. I was stupid. Here's my hand, it's completely fried. It hurts very badly. Um, I just wanted to tell this to you guys, just so you guys don't ever throw any stuff like this on, on fires because this is what happens if you're dumb like me. Um, just, just please don't do it. Just please. Anyway, just really, Ah, I just don't know what I was thinking, you know what I mean? I just randomly decided to throw lacquer thinner on a fire, or on coals, light it, and it explodes, fries my complete, completely fries my hand. Just go down in the comments and tell me how stupid this was.